and welcome to video three of my how to make a custom t-shirt with Cricut video series. In this video, we will add an image, use the contour feature and use exclude and then finally slice. For the other videos in this series, including video one, check out the links in the description. So I'm back in design space version 8.4 and I'm going to get my roller skate and I'm going to pop it in the what looks like the middle of the circle. And then I'm going to grab the circle by going shift and clicking on the circle. And then I'm going to go align and I'm going to go center. And I'm going to make sure it was the skate that moved and not the actual circle. We could work with just that, but I'm going to add a little bit more. So I'm going to go to images and I'm going to filter by free. And I'm just going to have a bit of a scroll. So you've got some things like paint splashes. You could use those lines or those holes in that confetti. But I'm going to go keep going and I'm going to look for some like embellishment type images. So something like these sort of lines around the edge. All right, so something like this, this let's craft. This looks like the roller skate will go in it perfectly. So I'm going to click on that. It's free and I'm going to add it to canvas. So it's come in and I can click on the down arrow here. And because it's in two different colors, I can already just go to the let's craft and delete, which leaves me with these lovely little embellishments here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide them down a little bit. That looks really good, except it doesn't quite fit. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to drag this under the roller skate skate too because I want the roller skate on top. I'm going to take the roller skate and I'm going to rotate. So you can go to the more and rotate and type in some numbers in this direction here. Or you can go to when it comes to the arrow, you can see where it goes to the curve and you can then do this by eye to match it up with the line under here. Now these contours these little curves look great, but I love these two just to be up over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate. So I'm going to right click or duplicate or control D. And I'm going to pop one away. So on this bottom one here, I'm going to use the contour feature. So I'm going to click on contour. And I'm going to, when you highlight, you change to a different shade of gray. And light gray means that it's not going to cut. And we're going to also, I don't really want that extra line in there. I think that's just a bit too much. Oh no, wrong one. Uh, I don't want the little one. There we go. That's what I want. And I'm going to go X. So now I'll keep, see how I've now got all of those except for the two and the other two I'm going to grab from this one. So I'm going to go to contour again. And because I want to get rid of everything except for these two lines, I'm going to go to hide all contours. And it's just going to give me one random line. And I'm going to go to the these two little lines here. I'm going to highlight those. And now once I've got some something in the image you can then go ahead and remove the one that automatically came through and when i'm happy with that i can press x and now i've got these extra lines now i can also i'm not restricted to the size too i can move these make these a little bit bigger if i wish now it's not quite centered now but i actually really like the way it is and i'm going to center it based on that so i'm going to select the three images the skate and the extra, I'm doing shift and click. And I'm going to get to the original, these ones too. So I should have three images together. What shift and click. And you can see in the layers panel here, I've got the three images I want together. Now I can move them together and I will center this now by eye because this is a visual image. And when I'm happy with that, we'll move to the next step. Now, next, we're going to see what the exclude function looks like. So I'm going to take these three together with this circle. And I'm going to go to combined and I'm going to click on, you've got a couple options here, exclude. And now you can see it's cut out all those shapes from the circle, which is, means that I'm going to have a simple image to work with and I can, it'll come out as one cut. 
Also, just to note, if you wanted to do this on your Cricut Joy, this is 11 by 11, but all you need to do is reduce this to 10.78 centimeters, this circle, and you will be able to cut the actual circle itself on your Cricut Joy. And then how I roll or the other way around. Or cut it separately and cut it um, horizontally so it will come out vertically. So now with exclude, you've got all the different layers and you can go ahead and adjust them. Now, this is great for while you're designing and saving. However, when you go to cut, I find this is a very slow cutting process. So when we're happy with our design, I'm going to go and take this exclude and undo it. So we're going to go undo exclude layers. Then I'm going to take the three layers that are not the circle and I'm highlighting those. Now I'm going to go to combine and I'm going to go to well. Now you cannot undo this. So make sure you save a copy before you do this part. And then from the weld, you're going to go to weld and you're going to click onto the circle layer. And now we're going to go to slice and you've got two sliced green layers, which we can remove. And now you've got the same effect. Now this will cut slightly faster on your machine. You cannot undo it. So exclude is better for your designing. And when you're finalizing your design, using the weld and the slice will give a faster cut. In the next video, I'm going to give you two options on how to uh, apply your HTV to the mat. One is going to be a solid color and it's going to come out exactly like this. And the other option is a multicolor option. Check out the next video in the, with the links in the description or check out the video on your screen. Happy crafting.